so that's why uh, we don't like to call them Berbers in Moroccan origins. So when they die, so they always tell them Berbers here in Bess. So they brought them from Israel directly to the Siberia. I'm going to elaborate the subject once in a minute. Then we have a Berbers in the very south of Morocco, here like Agadir and the Sawira, and they are what we call the Susi. Not sushi, please. <laughs> Susi. Susi. So every tribe speaks, I mean, its own language, totally different from other. You can see if a Berber of the North talks to a Berber of the Middle Atlas, they will understand like 25% of the total message. By the way, to the left side is also the Medina. The Medina of Fas El Bali, Fas El Old. And if you can see like a white tall minaret in the middle, a very white one, and that's the Karawiyin Mosque. That's the Karawiyin Mosque and University, the oldest university in the world, which was founded by Batiba. Batiba. So it's always, you know, we have lots of Fatimas and lots of Mohammeds. So in the family, it's a kind of culture, like a custom, like a tradition, like a habit. City. The wall you can see to the left side, as I told you, part of this 15 kilometers wall, 15 kilometers wall that surround all the Medina. As I said, it's a part of it which is missing, and as well the restoration of the wall. So we have, as I said, like 70% of the wall has been restored thanks to UNESCO, thanks to Nader. ADER, the like initials, Agence de Dilensification de Rehabilitation, it's like an old area. We have some houses from like more than 800 years ago. Very old one, very old palaces. Work of plaster, work of village, work of woodwork, so it's very expensive. Houses here in the Medina. If you are Moroccan and you live in the traditional house that you expect the same aspect as a traditional Moroccan house, I mean the house of the village. So what? Yeah, we have uh, them. We use them in the middle now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So as it's uh, a sunny weather, a good uh, a good weather. So it means that my prayer that I made yesterday to have the sun, it works. So uh, it gives us the appetite to go to visit the Jewish neighborhood.
Were there 11 children or more? No, with my mom, so she gave birth to 11. You look exactly like this, you know my job, and they know. Why do you keep it? And to speak to the power that you have the position, the position, the height, and they will miss this, you know? It is not your business, okay? That happens everywhere. Yeah, but sometimes you have people to say to
Bentanam or any synagogue, you must have the mezuzah at the door. But here we don't have a mezuzah. We have the symbol of what we call the hand of Fatima. You can notice that on the door. On the door while you going inside. The hand of Fatima, as I told you, is a symbol for the Muslim. Get one number two. And for us, Muslims and the Jews, we have many things in common. Like, for example, culturally, we are the same. Religion, it's something different. <laughs> and as I told you, for us in Morocco, we could be Christian, Jew, or pagan, or whatever, we live all of us under the same style in peace, regardless of your religion. So if you go, for example, on the internet and you put on YouTube, for example, you put a Moroccan or a Jewish or a wedding in Israel, you will see exactly like a Moroccan wedding. So they put like the outfit, like a hat, the jilaba, the fez, the hat, the red hat, fez, yellow slippers, having the same music, like Andalusian music or Arabic music. So culturally we are the same, maybe the separate Jewish. The separate Jewish. So for us, for example, in the mosque, if we have to pray in the mosque, we pray always separately, men and women. Women go to the mosque, but always in a separate area. I can ask pray, but I'm beautiful, maybe I want something. It's a lack of concentration. So just for respect, we pray separately. So the same here, we can marry her. <laughs> if she does, we look for her. It's a joke. So we use it only for the wedding. As I told you, we have many things in common. This is I still five star six stars star of David and this is some prayers. Can someone here? Okay. And I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. I can take this off. Okay, just let you just get that. And close. the second one off. <laughs> Ooh. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Out of this place, you can see the And this is like this. Only a wet now. Only a wet now. If you can read something, sorry. And that's not like behind glass and that's it's special. Do you know the The scrolls you open them like that. It's a doll, but it's pulled. This is from yeah. the <laughs> Would you like to send it to the, to the National Museum of the Jews? Yeah, it's but, it's I mean, Jews yeah, from the Jews could leave it to where it is. Wow. Okay. President du Tribunal Rabbinique Juif is the one who, I mean, was responsible of the Court of Justice. You know, for the Jews who used to live here, when they have a problem between each other, they don't go to the Muslim court, but they have to go to the, I mean, tribunal rabbinic, rabbinic, I mean, court in general. So the obvious no, question also is why were the Jews living in their own neighborhood? How can they get to do it? I know, I told you in the beginning. So, yeah. I feel like in America you can watch it. Yeah. 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 Ah, <laughs> ne you came to the synagogue. 
the older until it is another daily life of the fussy life that is starting the people are coming down to join the big mall the big mall and then they do the tour as i told you today rooftop of the mall we have them also along this avenue i gave you already yesterday the name of the restaurant isla blanca isla blanca and also uh, there is another restaurant which is just facing the hotel in b in b restaurant maison blanche Maison Blanche. In B restaurant, you can Google it, it's a good one. Otherwise, you want just small snacks, pizza, or tank. On this main avenue, you find a lot of, I mean, uh, options and possibilities. In general. So, for tomorrow, tomorrow, we are leaving at 5 o'clock. Wake up call at 3.30. Huh? He's kidding. What? <laughs> He's kidding. <laughs> it, is, it is my way, it is my way to do test if you are following or not. When I didn't hear you, I was wondering if you are awake or you are already sleeping. You are shocked. So we are leaving, ladies and gentlemen, at 8, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, yes. We are leaving, we will have a long drive tomorrow. A long drive, but beautiful drive. You will see it and you will judge by yourself. So. 8 o'clock, we are leaving, 6.30, I'm going to ask for the wake-up call. If you don't mind, 7.15, you put the luggage in front of the rooms. So I do the double checking of your luggage, and 8 o'clock, we are leaving. We are driving through the mountains, so the people that have the car sickness or tank and are using medicines, don't forget to use them 30 minutes before the departure. 30 minutes before the departure, it will generally work like this. You don't have them, you let me know. I will give some for you. Uh, normally, on this road, it is not worse. Uh, we are driving on altitude also. So better to keep your jackets. Or if we stop on the mountains, because we are driving till 6,000 feet high, so you will have your jacket, and then we are passing by a skiing resort also. It is different. Uh, and after then we will have lunch will be on your own we don't stop in a restaurant that we already always used on our way and at the end of the afternoon by 5 30 6 we will be in the hotel eh? shaluka in the sahara desert i mean at the gate of the sahara desert in the middle of nowhere eh? so tomorrow there will be no cars no cars nearby the hotel there will be the dogs barking the dogs, there will be dogs, animals, farms, like this, okay? <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> it is not the city center like today. Okay? 
you can feel clean. And look, otherwise, you have also small, other small s snacks for your uh, dinner here. When you come down here, you see a lot of people there who have small snacks here. You have Isla Blanca, I told you, it is on your right hand side here, Isla Blanca. Isla Blanca. Okay, anyhow, by 6.37, I will be in the lobby if you need any help or anything like this, yeah. chicken spot also. This one is making chicken, pizzas and everything uh, on your right hand. You don't want to have a big meal. But if you want to really to treat yourself today, the best is in me, in the restaurant. A little bit upgraded, but it is a good restaurant. Like that I didn't miss anyone but today. It's a uh, good luck for me. And uh, I hope that you will be like uh, our ambassador's home. Talk to people much about Morocco so as we can have more visitors and long live the relationship between Morocco and all over the world. Thank you very much once again. Thank you very much. Shukran.